Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be showing you how to pair and use the Fluval Plant Spectrum and Plant Nano Spectrum Bluetooth LED in conjunction with the Fluval Smart App for your mobile device. Now before we begin, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your physical light unit is connected properly to your power source. So we've gone ahead and uh, illustrated that on screen for you. Now with that in check, next you're going to want to download the Fluval Smart App. So depending on whether you're uh, an Android or an iOS user, you'll go to either the Google Play or the App Store. In my case, I'll be going to the Google Play Store with Android. And I'll be searching Fluval Smart all as one word. With the app page found, you're going to go ahead and install that. And depending on your internet connection, again, this could take a few seconds, a few minutes. So we let that do its thing. And now with the app downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open it. Now, as this is an app, we are doing upgrades like any other app every once in a while to make the uh, user experience better and better. So it may look a little bit different, but first thing you're going to want to do probably is, is either pick your country or your language. Uh, in this case, uh, it's already defaulted to English, but I'll just show you where that can be found in case um, you need another language. You go to settings in the bottom corner and you would select language and choose your language and hit OK. Next to settings in the bottom of the screen you have web. Web is a uh, direct link to certain Fluval online tools. In this case we have our YouTube channel because we have several how-to videos and other helpful uh, tips and tricks for you. So we'll have this updated on a regular basis as well. Um, so check that every once in a while. And the last section on the bottom toolbar is devices which brings you back to this uh, opening screen. First thing you're going to want to do is pair your device. So you're going to go ahead and hit the plus symbol. In my case I have a plant strip and a plant nano LED so therefore you're seeing two uh, rows. Uh, the first one being the nano, the second one being the strip light. Um, I'm, I'll show you why I'm, I'm doing this uh, because there's some advantages for those that are going to have several lights uh, paired to one device. In this case, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to choose the strip light. So I'm going to check that second row. You see the green arrow, the green check mark appear. And then to engage that, I will check, uh, press on the red check mark at the bottom of the screen. It now confirms that that indeed is the light that is paired. So I select that row. And it's now uh, officially connected the light. So what happens when you get to this screen now, it's going to ask you whether you want to go into manual or auto mode. The white shaded area uh, designates what mode you're operating in. So I'm going to start by showing you manual. And what manual is, is quite simply, it has your color channels and you can basically slide them up and down and select your color intensity. Once you've gotten to where you want it, you can select the either the P1, 2, 3, or 4 if you so choose. Those are for program, so that will keep those uh, in memory for you. You just press and hold that for a few seconds, and then I can turn my light on or off uh, with the power button uh, below. So that's pretty much manual mode. If I select auto in the top area, now it allows me to, to uh, do the same type of thing but in a 24 hour light cycle so I can actually go into more detail and select my color intensity uh, for sunrise, midday or daylight, sunset and night settings. So let's go ahead and show you that. But before I get into that, uh, I just want to show you the graph area above. This basically confirms whatever parameters you're going to set between uh, the bottom four sections, it's going to, as you adjust those settings, your graph will adjust. So this just shows you a visual representation, an overview of that 24-hour light cycle. So if I go into uh, sun, sunrise, I can quite simply just move the dials, pick however long I want my sunrise, and I'll hit save. And note, uh, as, I, as I make the changes again, the graph will change. So if we go into midday or daylight, again, if I move my uh, slide bars for my color channels. You can note the graph is adjusting as I do that and I will probably want that quite a bit more intense for midday or daylight. I'll hit save. Sunset. Again, just like sunrise, I'll choose when and how long I want my sunset to go for. And finally, my 
my nighttime settings probably we want to keep that low uh, maybe maybe just bring up the blue a little bit to represent that moonlight and click save so that's it um, in the bottom toolbar you have uh, preview so if I go ahead and click that on the right preview now you'll note a red vertical line moving across the graph this basically shows you it's a sped up 24-hour representation of your parameters. So it, in about 30 to 60 seconds, that red bar will go through your 24-hour light cycle, and you can see the light adjusting, my sunrise coming up. Now I'm kind of peaking at my midday uh, daylight settings. And I'll go ahead and pause that. I won't need to go through the rest of it. I think you get that. Uh, next to preview on the bottom toolbar, you have save as. This is where I can save these light settings. So I'll go ahead and tap in there, and maybe I want to call it light one and hit save finally on the bottom you have export export you'll note at the very bottom of the list I have light one that is my profile that I just saved and also with the plant spectrum and plant nano you have three preset um, options that come standard with the light these are for those people who want to have immediate uh, replications of uh, several popular light settings. It's all done for you. So you have Tropical River, Lake Malawi, and Planted. And what you would do is select either whichever one you want, and you would hit Export. And that would bring up that profile. Lastly, guys, in the top right corner, you have a pencil icon and a magnifying glass. And this becomes uh, important. Uh, especially for those that are going to have maybe two or more uh, light settings, uh, sorry, lights set up. So if I hit the pencil icon, I can rename my device. It defaults to the uh, Bluetooth ID code, and that's this, this um, whole long list of letters and numbers. That's what that is. So maybe I'll want to call it uh, Plant Light 1, and I'll go ahead and hit Save. And the magnifying glass... Um, will designate if I have two or more lights it when I press it the light that is engaged and that I'm entering settings for will blink so in case you're wondering which light if, if you didn't rename it and you're not sure which light you're working on just pressing that button will will uh, will make the light that you're entering settings for flash so if I go back you'll see my light uh, has been renamed Plant Light 1. So that's it, guys. That's the Fluval Smart app in a nutshell. If you have any questions or comments, please don't be shy. Hit us up in the uh, thread below. And for any other questions beyond that, you can always reach us at fluvalaquatics.com. Thanks for watching.